specifically for serve and what's it like been working with him? Oh, it's amazing. High energy guy. You know, go hard. You know what you're getting every day. Uh, you know, we had a great day today. You know, it's, it's going to be a lot of back and forth, you know, through our training. That's the only way we're going to get better as a team. I think the last time we talked to you was on that first conference call. What are your just impressions of the line back and forth? Athletic, you know, just uh, hungry. You know, we show up ready to work every day, just trying to, you know, get better as a group, you know, as an individual, you know, as a team. You know, that's that's our goal, you know, just keep pushing each other, try to go out here every day and compete. Do you feel your versatility allows you to kind of slide into any position they need you? Almost definitely. In this league, you know, being versatile, you know, it, it definitely helps. It goes a long way. And that's what allowed me to get to this point in my career, you know, just being able to cross train, be able to understand the defense, being able to, you know, be able to be plugged and play wherever, you know, the team needs them. There's some young linebackers in this unit, Markel among them. What, what's jumped out to you about some of the youth at the linebackers? Like I stated earlier, you know, they're hungry, you know, they're, they're, uh, all of the young guys, they're like sponges, you know, just trying to just feed, you know, just take up all of the information possible, you know, asking questions, whether it's, you know, to myself, you know, Derek, you know, Coach Lip, you know, whether it's, you know, um, you know, anybody, they, you know, whoever they can get their hands on, whatever they have a question about, they're making sure that they're getting those questions answered. Now you're in a league that um, often phases out veteran players, maybe prematurely. Gruden's always been a guy who likes veterans, wants them here, wants them in, wants self-starters. How does he empower veterans to do their job? You know, he, bring, he brings he uh, brings veterans in for a reason. You know, we have experience. You know, we've played football, we've been around. Uh, you know, it's not our first rodeo. So you, know, you 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 definitely have to have that mix of you know veteran guys along with the young guys because at the end of the day. Uh, I think, you know, that experience in itself, it goes a long way. And, you know, when you have guys that's been there, that's played a lot of football, you know, it definitely helps the team. What kind of opportunities does Paul Bender's defense create for the players? Oh, it, it, multiple, you know, multiple opportunities. It's mixed, you know, he, he keeps it, you know, interesting. So you know, I'm, I'm excited about, you know, playing in this game and going out there, letting the rip. You're pretty vocal on the field out here. Even though you're coming into a new team, do you see yourself as, as a leader, someone who sort of has to step into that role? No, I'm, I'm just being me. You know, that's who I am. You know, as a player, you know, I'm going, you're going to hear me. You know, whether I'm out there, I'm on the defense and I'm calling plays and I'm calling out what the offense is doing, what we're doing on uh, defense. You know, the biggest thing is communication. When you communicate, you know, uh, as a whole on defense, you know, you, you put yourself in the right position to go out there and execute. And then I like to have fun. You know, I'm going to go out there. I'm going, you know, talk back and forth to D.C. and the offense. You know, I'm going to let Gruden have it a little bit, you know, when we're having good days, you know. But you know, that's it's all part of the game. You know, it's competitive. You know, and I love the game. I love the game. Will it be strange for you at all the first opponent you'll see is the Lions? I mean, they'll be here in a couple days. What do you think that'll be like for you? It's going to be fun. <laughs> it's going to be fun to say the least, you know. Uh, <laughs> a lot of uh, the guys that I play with are still there. So, you know, it's, it's the nature of the league. You know, you end up other places, but you create relationships and bonds with people. And, you know, that doesn't go away just because you're on the new team. So it's going to be good to see them. But at the end of the day, they know how I'm coming. And I know how they're coming. So, you know, they, they know they you know, we got to work. Coach Gruden said he was happy. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, you know he 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 yeah he he he's open like that. You know he's the players' coach. He's a great guy all around. You know high energy guy. What you see is what you get. You know if you're messing up, he's gonna let you know. If you're doing good, he's gonna let you know. So I like that aspect about him is that you know he, he gives you the ability to be yourself and you know don't have a bunch of rules. Just you know be 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 a professional. How different is he than your last coach? Um, they. They love football. Yeah, you know, I can't really say. You know, they they love football. Are you eager to get Khalil Mack in here? <laughs> hey man, I, all I could really worry about is uh, myself and the guys that's here. You know, I don't let that's above my pay grade. You know, I let them work that out. Obviously, John Gruden is a big offensive guy. He knows the offense inside and out. How how, could you ever see, how much do you see that like spill over to the defense? How much do you see him like like getting in, getting his fingers in what the defense? Is? You know, he, uh, he, he just tries to take a step back and allow his staff to do their job. You know, he, he's an offensive guy. He tries to just, you know, hone in on the offense and making sure that they're doing well, you know. But uh, Paul Gunther, he, he does a great job of getting us squared away, making sure we're where we need to be and we understand exactly what our job entails and how we need to execute.
Tyre, the NFL uh, put in the new rule about not being able to lower your head in any circumstances. Do you understand? Do you have clarity on that rule? You know, there's always kinks, you know, things to be worked through, but, you know, we just have to, you know, keep that dialogue going and, you know, that, that open line of communication. And so we as players understand to the T exactly what they're expecting of us because ultimately is it makes it harder as a defensive player, you know, the rules that's being uh, stated in the, in the league now. But, you know, it's, it's the nature of the game. You know, they're trying – We you, you first and foremost, you know, playing linebacker, you know, I'm – I'm more prone. I always have to hit people, so I'm going to make sure that first I take care of myself and you know the other guys. So you're not out there trying to intentionally hurt anyone. So you definitely want to make sure you, you know, abiding by the rules. Maurice Hurst, number 73. He's a fifth round pick, but not a typical fifth round pick in terms of his football talent. What have you seen from him thus far this offseason? First and foremost, like great guy. That's, that's, that's the first thing you notice about him. He's a great guy, always smiling, you know, up in spirits. But when you see him get on the football field, he, he hits the switch and he's, he's going. He's, he's athletic, he's explosive, you know, he's, he's all over the place. And that's what I love about him. He shows up with that worker's mentality and, you know, he just, just go out there and let it, let it all, you know, let it rip on the field. Were you more comfortable, you more comfortable with him or familiar with him rather just because of Michigan and you know, do you watch more Wolverines when you're? Nah, uh, uh, they they typically playing when we're playing on the season, and you know I'm I'm typically studying. You know, during the year I'm not really watching too much football, no, uh, no TV and all that stuff. You know, I have a few shows that I watch, but I try to limit it because you know it's it's go time during the year, and I try to stay focused.